Hello all, welcome in this another SAP tutorial of ERP SAP team. Today we are going to discuss a very important tutorial with you all. In inventory management, physical inventory verification is a very important process. And any inventory in charge or any material management in charge of plant should do this verification on yearly or half yearly basis fine during the physical inventory verification uh, so many cases are possible for example if i have issued inventories to from one storage location to another storage location and that storage location in charge will physically utilize the inventory but it's not utilize or consume in the SAP okay are due to certain cases of theft or fire incidents are due to flood our warehouse inventory is damaged so in all such possible cases we need to do physical inventory verification and settle all the cases how to do this we will see this is purely test case and this is for your learning and understanding purpose right so how to create the PID document physical inventory document that is the PID is that using transaction code MI01 okay we, we are going to check the warehouse stock of our two materials one is this and another one is this okay our plan code is 3002 and storage location is 100. Now, these two materials are having stock of 2 quantity and 96 quantity, right? During physical inventory verification, during physical inventory verification, uh, it may be increased quantity or it may be decreased quantity. So, first you should create the physical inventory document that is fresh PID document. <clears throat> the document date, plan document date, plan storage location. If you want to uh, freeze book inventory or the posting block, then you can check on this. Because until and unless the counting is not done, you are not able to post any in this inventory. Enter the material code. If you have batches, then you can fill the batches and click on the save. Once you click on the save or post, a physical inventory document number will be generated like this. Right? Now you should perform all the operation related to physical inventory document on this. Right? You just note down this physical inventory document number and your date of the generation of the this physical inventory document right now how to count PID for this the transaction code is MI04 okay the next transaction code is MI04 during physical inspection or uh, during physical inventory verification in warehouse in respect of these two material okay we are going to enter actual physical count what we are going to enter actual physical count fine the during mi04 enter the pid document and enter the fiscal year okay here you need to fill the here you need to fill the actual quantity of these two material available in your warehouse right so this is this test case for your learning and understanding purpose so in this case we found one quantity of the first material in the second case we found 97 quant of this if the zero quantity of these materials available then you need to check, click on the this checkbox that is zc zero count right without zero count system will not able to identify that you are uh, you have entered the nil quantity right I have entered one quantity of the first material and 97 quantity of the second material. And now you need to check on the post. Then system will done the entry of the counting. Okay. The same you can check 
in MI-22 where the status of the document is counted counted and not counted is there so you need to execute the transaction code MI-22 okay status of counting transaction code is MI-22 you can uh, note down this transaction code here you need to fill material code, plan code, storage location or you need to fill only PID document system will <coughs> generate the status right multiple parameters are there okay so once you execute click on this document S see the status is counted okay now the next process is how to check the difference of the counting how to check the difference of the counting for this the transaction code is mi20 right mi20 is also a very important transaction code to track the difference of the inventory record right In MI20, you need to fill the plan code, storage location, and physical inventory document, right? And execute. See, this is our physical inventory document. This is the inventory code. This is the plan code. This is this warehouse location. As per the SAP, we have these quantity. As per the counting, we have these quantity. There is a difference. There is a negative difference. One quantity missing. There is a positive difference of the one quantity. So with respect to these, all the main difference is maintained here, right? And uh, on the basis of this, you, you can take the approval of the competent authority, your finance team, your um, plant head team. So take the approval and check this box and post the difference. You can directly post these documents from here if you have a proper authorization of the posting. Generally, your finance team has this authorization and for this the transaction code will use MI07. You can directly choose this path from MI20 also you can or you can choose the path from MI07 also, right? Once you execute the MI07, fiscal inventory document number, fiscal year and posting date. Once you enter a line item wise, the inventory will be displayed here. And you can check the inventory document for which you are going to post in MI07. Okay, so this is the MI07 screen and through which you can done the write-off. Right? Or you can check the, uh, dif maintain the difference. And now, how, how to do the recounting of the physical inventory document? For this transaction code is, transaction code is MI05. During uh, physical inventory verification or after that we found that the quantity of two, three quantities available of the first material and <coughs> 98 quantity of this material is available. So you can recount this but please keep in your mind, please keep in your mind that the physical invent uh, the PID count generation and counting and posting should be done in the same month in the same month it's very important counting a uh, generation of the PID document counting recounting and posting should be done in the same month so MI01 MI04 and MI07 should be done in the same month so please keep in this your mind okay <coughs> So we have uh, successfully recount and click on the save. And once you recount, you should check the status in MI20 also because that is the important. <coughs> now check the difference again with the same PID document. <coughs> See, the difference is initially, now we have counted the three quantity and uh, 
we have checked that the difference is maintained after recounting. So how to delete this PID document? This is very important. So you can delete due to any reason after the completion of the month or due to any reason you want to delete this PID document, then how to delete this PID document is very important. <coughs> You need to execute the transaction code MI02. Okay. Generally, the MI01 authorization and MI02 authorization is with the same person. Okay. So you need to execute the transaction code MI02 and enter the PID document and you need to do deletion process. Okay. So how to do this? We can check. MI02, right? Enter the fiscal inventory document number, fiscal year, okay? And here you need to select the line item you want to delete. Select the material line, line item you want to delete, okay? So your mouse pointer cursor should be on this and click on this deletion indicator. This deletion uh, indicator is reflecting here. Okay, so we have deleted the first line item of the material and not the second. Check the same status in MI22. See, first line item which, which I have deleted is reflected, counted and deleted. Second line item is not uh, reflected, only counted, not deleted. Okay, so you can uh, check the your uh, PID document because in one PID document, there are so many materials. Some have already posted, some have still counted. So depending on your choice, you need to delete the particular inventory line item or items. Okay. So this is the in MA02. I'm just going to select the second line item and click on the deletion indicator and going to delete this. Okay. So, check the same status in MI22, right? Both the line item has been deleted now. So, this is the way how can you delete the line items in physical inventory document, right? Hope you understand the throughout process of the physical inventory document, okay? And this process is, uh, this tutorial is just for the test case, training and understanding purpose. Uh, you should understand what the whole process is going on, right? And for each and every process, you should take the approval from the competent authority, right? If you want to delete any PID documents and generate the PID documents at new places, you should just inform and take the approval for the same. You are going to post the inventory difference. You are going to write off. You are going to book the loss. So you can take the approval from the competent authority as per its power and uh, take the approval of the finance heads of your plant. Okay. So <clears throat> thank you for watching this tutorial. If you think this is nearly useful tutorial, please share with your colleagues and friends working in your company. And... Uh, that's all so this is again this is for learning tutorials so happy learning